um, happy to speak on this bill uh, today. I believe that the bill before the House is an important part of the measures being implemented uh, to bring back overall responsibility for the health service to the Minister for Health and the Department of Health. Uh, the bill is somewhat technical in, in nature and the, the, the contains the provisions necessary to bring the financial governance of the HSE back within the framework uh, of the Department of Health. I can understand and appreciate the merits uh, of creating a single health service which presumably underpinned the creation of the HSC. A single authority uh, replacing the various health boards made sense for a country uh, of our size. Uh, while the pa past decade, uh, uh, whilst in the past decade um, contained many missed opportunities with unworkable, ill-thought-out policies such as co-location, I believe that the creation of the Centres of Excellence for Cancer Care against a backdrop of in intense opposition has proved to be a correct policy and one that has had positive results for the people of our country. However, time has also demonstrated that the creation of the HSE aided and abetted, uh, aided and abetted an evasion of responsibility. It became possible to blame a bureaucratic, unwieldy organisation for the ills which befell the health service. And ch changes of this nature were regularly made by various national and local uh, public, or charges of this nature were regularly made by various national and local public representatives. The current Minister for Health is introducing legislation and other measures that indicate clear points of responsibility, explicitly state objectives and how they are to be achieved, and most importantly, is taking responsibility directly for the reforming of our health service. The establishment of hospital groups, which is piloted in the West, is the most fundamental reform of the health services in decades and will ensure that hospitals in the regions work together to deliver the highest levels and broadest range of care. Despite a constant st stream of negativity concerning health care in Ireland, it is undeniable that tens of thousands of people across the country receive high-quality health care in our hospitals and primary care uh, settings from conscientious and dedicated health care staff. There have been tangible positive developments in our health service over the last three years, including a reduction by one-third the patients waiting on trolleys, a reduction of over 90% in the number of people waiting more than a year for outpatient appointments a reduction of 99% in the number of inpatient and daycare waiting lists of eight months uh, or more, a reduction of 50% in the number of MRSA infections in our hospitals, with 20 hospitals reporting no cases of MRSA, the provision of €200 million Euro for the new children's facility uh, hospital, a children's hospital to be co with, with construction to commence uh, next year and uh, to be completed by 2018, a facility that will provide world-class health care uh, for generations uh, of Irish children. Uh, these are de de developments that are uh, drowned out, overlooked or ignored. They are achievements which uh, the many men and women working in our healthcare system uh, in, in every role and function can and should be proud of. However, to ensure that such provision of care continues, we need to implement reforms. One such crucial reform is the ab abolition of the HSC. Another is the introduction of universal health insurance system. And this system, which will see uh, all citizens with health insurance uh, will be rooted in the money follow the patients model. Uh, no longer will block grants of public funding be handed over with few, if any, conditions on standards or patients' outcome. As Minister Riley said earlier this week, care will be on the basis of need rather than one's income, uh, a comment that should be the mission statement for every health system. Another important measure about to be introduced is the introduction of free GP care uh, for children under the age of six. And this measure is being viewed as a precursor to the introduction of such care uh, for all citizens. Uh, unfortunately, at present, there are difficulties between the Irish Medical Organisation and the HSC in negotiating this. We need to remember that all groups uh, involved have the one aim, and that is the protection and promotion of the health of the Irish people. Certainly, there are different views on how we achieve this, but I would appeal to the parties involved to commence meaningful and constructive talks and negotiations. General practitioners have faced considerable challenges, as have most of the professions and sections of society since the economic collapse. But having said that, I know that GPs want to ensure that this measure is rolled out, is enacted fully, as does, I, I believe, uh, every citizen uh, of the country, and I'm confident uh, that it will be. As I stated, there are a number of positives, particularly I think the Children's Hospital, which has been talked about for a long number of years, and I'm delighted to see that uh, work has, 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 uh, will be commencing next year on that and will be completed by 2018. Uh, as I said, the pilot scheme for the re reorganisation commenced in the West, and that has been a success. Uh, we see the you know, board meetings been held in public across the region with accountability. Uh, we as Oireachtas members are fully briefed on issues of, of importance and uh, fully aware and conscious of the decisions we made. And uh, you know, we have the, we have the power 
powers to to, uh, to consult and to engage with the officials. I think that's an important role, and I'd like to commend uh, the minister here and the, the other ministers and the team in, in regarding their work.